such a beautiful snake. It's not at all uncommon for these animals to immediately kill juvenile king cobras and slurp them up. So great. Love, love, love this snake. My name is Jack, and I've spent the past few years traveling all over the globe to find some of nature's most unique and dangerous animals. My goal? To show the world that even the most bizarre or even deadly life forms on Earth deserve both our respect and our appreciation. Now this mission has brought me face to face with some of planet Earth's most venomous snakes. And although I'm no stranger to these deadly reptiles, there are quite a few that even I am wary around. Now I've heard rumors of a snake deep in the jungles of Southeast Asia that has one of the most potent venoms on Earth. A snake that makes breakfast out of king cobras and toxic crates. Today we are venturing into the jungles of Southern Thailand on the hunt for one of planet Earth's most venomous snakes the Malaysian Blue Coral Snake. Now, these snakes are heavily crepuscular, meaning they are really active in the early morning and early evening hours, but they can be found really at all times of the day, depending on when they're out foraging, when they're hunting for food. So we are just kind of hiking up this riverbed, hoping, fingers crossed, that we can come across one of these spectacular snakes. And after hours and hours and hours of searching, we finally heard Rupert yell, Biver Goddess, we had a Malaysian blue coral snake. And I don't know if you all realize this, but these snakes are absolutely one of my favorite species and easily one of my cameraman Gage's favorite species. So we ran up this river and got hands on with this beautiful snake right when we found it. So here's a little bit of uh, that interaction. It was just so much fun, such a high energy find. And we were just so excited to actually have one of our biggest targets in hand. Like so do you want to do a video with this one, Jack? Yeah, is this good enough for you? Yeah. Definitely good enough. For Here, get pictures of me. <laughs> My God. Single patch of even I mean, ground over here. Oh my God. Okay, so uh, we weren't able to film the capture, but we have something especially amazing in this bag here. I'm gonna tump it out for you all to see. Come take a close look. Oh my gosh, seriously a dream come true. Let's take a look at this animal. Wow, take a look at that folks. This is the Malaysian blue coral snake, Calliophus bivergatus. And this was easily one of our biggest targets for our trip here to Southern Thailand. This is an absolutely spectacular snake species. These are super venomous elapids and they're feeding primarily on other snakes. But take a look at the colors here. Gorgeous dark blue on the top, some kind of sky blue stripes down the sides, and of course, a bright red underbelly. These are some of the more gorgeous and spectacular snakes that you can encounter here in Southeast Asia. And we are so excited that we've actually been able to find one. Look at this animal. I mean, it's a marvel. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. When you think of the world's most toxic snake, you may think of the gigantic King Cobra, or perhaps the fierce Inland Taipan. Both of these elapids have a powerful neurotoxin that they can use to incapacitate their prey and defend themselves against predators. In comparison, the blue coral snake is equipped with a powerful cytotoxic venom, which, when injected, can cause almost immediate rigid paralysis and death in its prey. 
Essentially, this snake's venom overloads every cell in a prey animal's body, causing a chain reaction shutdown in not just the nervous system, but every organ and all of the tissue. Although bites in humans are vastly understudied, it is possible that some localities of these snakes could cause near instantaneous death even in healthy adults. Near instant death. Even in larger neurotoxic elapids, a window of a few hours before life-threatening symptoms qualifies as an extreme envenomation. To have a snake that could immediately shock your body to death on a cellular level is truly something to behold. Wow! Look at that. I mean, this is a gorgeous snake. Absolutely spectacular. Ugh. Ugh. Let me just sit down for you. Take a look at this snake. Oh, easy killer. I want to try and keep this guy as comfortable as I can. I'm walking in his way up my hands. Here. Look at this snake. I don't want to take a bite. Um, there's a little bit of debate on just how venomous these snakes are, um, but uh, I'm going to play it safe and assume that uh, these just might be among some of the more toxic species in Thailand. Um, of course, those beautiful colors are absolutely spectacular. Okay, there he goes, calm down a little bit. Now, these coral snakes are ophiophagus meaning they eat other snakes. In the case of the blue coral snake, many of its prey species are also highly toxic. So this is where its powerful venom comes into play. Now these venom glands of these snakes are massive and they can run over a quarter of the snake's total body length. Now that means for a near six foot snake, they can have almost two foot long venom glands. Fast-acting venom in large quantities is absolutely necessary for these slithering predators, as some of their prey species would just as readily make a quick meal out of them. Absolutely spectacular. We were jumping up and down <laughs> when we found this. It was just such an amazing surprise. Uh, we were really hoping for these snakes, but we knew once again that they can be difficult to find. Um, in their natural habitat here in Southeast Asia. Oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful snake. Absolutely amazing. In addition to being the most toxic old world coral snake, these animals are also the largest old world coral snake, reaching lengths of almost six feet long. This long, thin body allows these animals to actively hunt for prey in the leaf litter and riverbanks of the forest they call home. Bright colors also help to warn potential predators to stay away. That won't work on me though. I find these snakes to be too beautiful to resist. They use this powerful cytotoxic venom to almost immediately kill their snake prey. In fact, it's not at all uncommon for these animals to immediately kill juvenile king cobras and slurp them up. Uh, these are amazing, amazing, amazing snake specialist hunters. They're able to use that special venom to absolutely destroy the nervous systems and cells of their prey. These are such fantastic snakes. I mean, I can't get enough, but I don't want to take too long with her. So we're actually going to let this beauty go. And uh, hopefully we see a whole lot of other amazing stuff. We're going to get some footage. We're going to get some pictures. And uh, I hope that we can showcase just how immensely beautiful this snake is. So great. Love, love, love this snake. Easily one of my top finds ever. This was definitely at the top of our list to see in the wild. And uh, really doesn't get much better than this. Such a gorgeous snake. I mean, so cool. Wow. 
Okay, so we had a great time with this absolutely fantastic specimen. This is such an amazing and beautiful species and I am so glad to have finally been able to encounter this in the wild. Only took two trips to Southeast Asia to get this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful species. So we thank our lovely little friend, give her a nice little kiss and we're gonna let her go right on this beautiful riverbed. Ah, she's chasing me, she's gonna get me. Beautiful snake, it's okay, it's okay. Oh man, that is too cool. That is so awesome. Covered in leeches and ants, but I don't care. This, uh, this was such an amazing snake find. Oh, too cool, we'll let her get on her way. But uh, I just wanted to take a second and thank you all for tuning in today. Uh, I hope you had a great time learning about the fantastic Malaysian blue coral snake. I know I had a wonderful time teaching you all at home. Uh, so, sadly, friends, this is where our time comes to an end. Well, there you have it. That's our adventure for today, folks. I had an amazing time filming with this beautiful and deadly snake while in Southeast Asia. And if I can leave you with anything, I hope I can leave you with this. The planet that we live on is full of an amazing diversity of life. Life everywhere that is interconnected with itself. That's all dependent on each and every component of its ecosystem to survive. So it's important for us to remember that even the creepiest or grossest or perhaps even deadliest animals on earth are here for a very important reason and their value is immeasurable in their own ecosystem. So I hope that we can all remember that even these creepy animals or scary animals or dangerous animals serve an important role not only in their ecosystems, but in the health of the planet as a whole. So next time you see a snake or a spider or anything like that, I hope your first reaction isn't, ew, gross, that's scary or yucky. I hope that it's a reaction of appreciation. A, oh wow, what a cool animal just living its life, serving an important role, and filling an important purpose. Because that's the mission of the channel, and that's what I hope I can leave you with today. So, that's all the time we've got for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned a little something, and I hope I imparted a little bit of wisdom for you all. So, I retire. And I hope to see you all next week with the next upload. But until then, take care of yourselves and keep an eye peeled for the next upload. I'll see you then.